This video is going to have a look at using the cosine rule to find the missing angle in any shape triangle. The cosine rule formula is going to be c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times ab and then we're going to multiply that by the cos of angle c. So after we use the cosine rule to find what our c squared value is, Similar to Pythagoras, we would find the square root of that value to find the C value. To use the cosine rule to find a missing side, what we need to know is we need to know two sides of the triangle, plus we need to know the angle that is opposite the missing side. So here, when we're trying to find side C, we need to know the angle of capital C, which is opposite that missing side. So if we don't have the information, we won't be able to use the cosine rule without finding out some missing information. Now we can also rearrange the cosine rule formula to be able to find one of the missing angles. So let's have a look at how we rearrange that formula. So to rearrange the formula, what we do is we take our subtract 2a times b times cos of angle c and then we move it over to the other side. When we move it over to the other side, it is going to become a plus. Then as well, what we do is we take our C squared value and we move that over to the other side as well. And this time when we move it over to the other side, it is going to become a subtraction. So what we are left with after we complete those two steps is a positive two AB times cos of C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared. Now to get cos of C by itself, then what we do is we take our 2AB and we move it over the other side by dividing it. So our formula then becomes cos of angle C is going to equal a squared plus b squared minus c squared and then we're going to divide it by 2ab. So then we can use that formula to be able to find our missing angle value of c by using the inverse of cos function. So on your formula sheet you will be provided with the standard cosine rule formula which is the one we started with. You will need to know how to rearrange it to be able to find a missing angle. So let's have a look at an example of how we can apply the cosine rule to find some missing information in a triangle. In this example, we want to find the value of angle A. So we've got one unknown angle, but we also know the three sides of the triangle. So I can use the cosine rule to be able to calculate what that missing angle is going to be. So my first step is going to be write down the standard cosine rule that we are provided with on the formula sheet. So that is going to be c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2a times b times cos of angle c. So rearranging that formula to get cos c by itself. So 2ab times cos of c is going to equal a squared plus b squared minus c squared. So cos of angle C is going to equal A squared plus B squared minus C squared. And then that is going to be divided by 2AB. So that is the formula that I'm going to substitute into. So now I'll go back to my triangle in the example. And I'm going to label my information. So my unknown A that I'm trying to find, I'm going to label as angle C. The side opposite angle C is going to be side C. And then my other two sides are going to be side A and side B. So now that I have labelled all of my sides and information in the original triangle, I can go back and then substitute into my formula. So cos of angle A is going to equal to 7 squared plus 9 squared minus 4 squared. And that is going to be divided by 2 times 7 times 9. So cos of angle A is going to equal 19 over 21. So now I can use the inverse of cos to find what my A value is going to be. So A is going to equal to 
in the inverse of cos 19 over 21 and that is going to mean my a value is going to equal to 25.21 degrees so my unknown a value in my original example is going to be equal to 25.21 degrees so that is an example of how I can use the cosine rule to be able to find the missing angle in any shape triangle.